hi everybody um i just thought i would quickly show uh the little setup i've created to make the ink uh mats that i've been playing with recently as you can see i've just put a uh, the small light with a softbox behind a uh, a transparent container with water and i have my camera put very close i've been using this lens because it's actually it's only 40 millimeters, but it's able to focus very close to the lens. So I'm actually able to put my focus right in the middle of the glass container here. And then all I'm doing is basically dropping uh, this black food coloring into the water in various speeds and amounts to get the different kinds of, of uh, ink droplets. So the way I focus the camera is um, I'll take this transparent glass straw. I'll put it in and then I will be able to actually with the light here see that it actually is pretty pretty much in focus here in the middle and then of course now the water is dirty but I'll have to put some clear water in so now the now the water is clean and I'm just gonna wipe off any uh, droplets on the outside of this container just give it a quick wipe like that and I will take some of this food coloring and it uh, actually has a nice tip where only a single drop can be poured so we'll put one in and then you can see here over on the camera how that looks That looks just great. So some of the things I've done also is I've been thinning this with water so it's not quite as dark and I've been putting more in so it's more of a diffused cloud. I've been putting it on a spoon and just sort of laying it on top of the water here so it diffuses more slowly. Um, and I've also been soaking some paper in the black uh, food coloring. Um, and then, actually, I can show that. I might do one more of those. And then uh, just sort of resting, in, resting this soap cloth on top of the water. Which also will release the, the, the dye very slowly into the water. I'll just I'll record this. And let's record this one. Put it right here. It releases all the dye, but it sticks to the paper. And as soon as I remove the paper, here I can squeeze a good diffuse cloud down. You can see it comes down like that. Very cool. And this is super easy. You, you just need a camera, it could even be your phone, some soft light. Uh, if you want, you could actually just use a, a window and you can just stop the camera down uh, or up, depending on the light. And a glass container, some water and some food dye, which you can get in basically any supermarket. Now what you can do as well is if you have a camera that can film in slow motion, 100 frames per second or more, uh, you can actually also get some really nice results uh, with faster droplets. But this is an old GD camera so it can do that. Hopefully I'll get a new one soon. And we'll stop the recording there. Make sure to let it roll for an extended period of time to let all the 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 dice settle 
in the container and then just switch the water and do it again and each time you do it it's going to be different so yeah that's basically what i'm working on today trying to expand my bag of tricks and this has been very fun very easy actually easier than i thought it would be to create some very good uh, um, smoky droplets and in the next video i put up you'll see uh, what i've used these uh, ink droplets for